What is going on guys? Joel here back with some more CES 2014 coverage and I once again stopped at the Sony booth to check out their new smart band that should be released later this year but it seems like smart bands have been becoming a trend in 2013 and also of course now 2014 but Sony's introducing a new wearable device called the smart band. It is a waterproof strap which essentially is an activity tracker that also lets users control media calls and message alerts on their Android tablet or smartphone. I spoke to the Sony rep and they said, quote unquote, the smart band is much more than a fitness tracker. It does track your sleep patterns, movement metrics, and calories burned and discreetly vibrates to alert of incoming calls or texts. Now you see here, the smart band is actually powered by a thing called the core, which is a tiny chip designed to fit any number of wearables and its first wearable is going to be the smart band. The core, which is housed in a white casing, slips in and out of the smart band. Users charge the whole thing via a USB in the core capsule's rear with a separate charging unit. Now the capsule is curved, so it is shaped to the wrist. Once it is in, you will only feel the rubber edges that encase its insides of the strap. Now Core helps the smart band keep tabs on various elements using the Lifelong app. The app is downloadable on Android devices and the entire system works on Android 4.3 and up. It's a colorful graphic field interface and users of any Android device with 4.3 and up will be able to use the smart band which is pretty cool. It's not limited to only Sony devices. Now the strap is made out of a rubbery liquid silicone which is soft to the touch and it feels very light on the wrist. Now when released, which is not yet confirmed, customers will be able to get it in different vibrant colors and patterns and no price was given as well. But I think the Sony smart band is gonna be a competitor to other smart bands out on the market right now and others that will be released in 2014. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But other than that guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and do stay tuned for more CES 2014 coverage because I have a few more videos left. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for those videos and also in the description down below I will leave a CES 2014 playlist so you can catch up on all the rest of the videos I've put out so far. But anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you all on the next video. All right? Peace. Be sure to subscribe to JLB Tech 17 for more CES content.